Welcome back to this Let's Play of the original official campaign for Neverwinter Nights 2. Last time we uh, made our way into the Crossroad Keep, which is Black Garius' stronghold, through what's well, essentially the back door, which they left wide open. Great. Good job, guys. Uh, we In this room we met Aldenon, who'd been kidnapped, and uh, we rescued him, although he didn't seem to think he needed rescuing. He thought they were just a nice little, nice group of, fella, of chaps, and um, yeah, he's an idiot. Well, he's just old, you know. Anyway, this uh, book here, Ancient Art of Golem Craft, is part of a quest for the secret companion. Um, I think I missed a part of it earlier, so I hope I haven't screwed that up. But open up the uh, fight here, actually getting through the defenders with a uh, good old-fashioned, uh, well, I don't know, old-fashioned, new-fashioned fireball. Let's get me a new fashion, so let's throw around some greater missile stand as well. Though, against groups of enemies like that, it's actually better to be using firebrand. Uh, the big advantage to uh, greater missile storm is uh, that it uh, is non-elemental damage. It'll work on anything, and that's very handy for certain enemies. Anyway, uh, we let the guys in the front door, and... Uh, update them on what happened, and uh, there's uh, the ritual going on, but I just got dispelled and the, all my buffs got taken off, so I'm going to have to rest up, clean up, and be right back. I'm surprised they let you rest in this area, actually, but you need a key, which you find on one of those Luskin brothers, in order to get through that door there. Hmm, a bunch of shadow priests. hostile, and, uh, well, let's just Attack! get at it with, I don't think Finger of Death is going to work on them, actually, because of, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of, under, they're not undead per se, but they are, um, they are sort of undead alignment, as it were. I'm going to clean everything up. I'll be right back. There are a couple of useful items that I've, that are here, some of which are random, like all these spell scrolls that I picked up. There's a two level 9s and a level 8, um, which are just convenient finds. Uh, this rogue stone here is, a ra again, a random find, but it's one of the more important crafting gems. It's used for all the plus 6 stat items, for example. The Captain's Spear, I actually found this in the cave down below, I just hadn't bothered to identify it until now. Um, cast Stone Skin once a day, which I guess is... I mean, I have plenty of people who can cast Stone Skin, and you can cast Stone Skin on people other than yourself, so it's not a big deal, but it's kind of a nice item. It's not something I'm actually going to end up using as a weapon, though, because, well, it uh, can't be enchanted for me. Alright. It's another one of those golems. And, uh, I picked up a couple of new spells, actually, just wandering around. One of which is Planar Binding. Planar Binding actually is, in some ways, sort of two spells. It is a, um, summoning spell, and it's also a, uh, paralyzed spell, depending on what you use it on. Like uh, Summon Undead, these uh, summoned from... If you summon something from one of these planar binding spells, it lasts a good long time, which is handy. And we'll take a look at this stuff. I'll clean this stuff up later. You four, ignore them. Keep concentrating. The rest of you, kill them. I don't know how this is how well this is going to work out for our uh, friends in the uh, of the many star cloaks, but keep them from. Casting too much in the way of spells.
He must be either ethereal or invisible, but I cannot attack him at this point. I'll have to wait for him to decloak, I guess. I was hoping the great the dispel would deal with that, but it just didn't. Idiots! You're not focusing! Oops. Ritual's not turning out too well, is it, what Mr. Garius? Have you done to me? Hmm. Well, that was interesting. And, uh, we're... We told them we're gonna search for anything interesting, and, well, uh, I'm just gonna loot the room and be right back. In addition to heaping helping of the usual garbage, um, I found a Belgeral. Again, these uh, crafting gems are random, but you can find some of the better ones around here. This lesser ring of, fa of power you find on Black Garius, it's okay. I mean, it gives regeneration, which is useful. And this Silver Shard combat bonuses you also find on Black Garius. Um, if you're using Bishop and you use him a lot, this is a great item for him because it boosts his damage and there are so few things that do. But to finish this area, you just go over here and talk to Vale and he says, uh, burn the bodies. Luskins roasting on an open fire. Oh, wow. Those are chestnuts. What are those things? We'll run into them later. They're not fun. Forgive me, Master Eldenon. I'm afraid I do not understand. Very well. Let us set aside the broader metaphor of the stone and narrow our attention to the fact that it has been cleft in two, which, while not a fact, is a smaller metaphor than the first. You see, at first glance, the two halves both appear as separate stones, but they were both once one stone, yet not. Do you follow? Ah, welcome. I was just speaking with Master Aldenon concerning one of the prisoners you recovered from Garius. A woman, but not of Neverwinter or Luskin, or even perhaps this plane of existence. The prisoner has asked for you, personally. I was hoping you might be able to help us out concerning her identity, or her intentions. Aldenon has a theory, but I'm afraid... If you both would simply listen! The comparison to a rock, a big rock, is a simple one, almost perfect. This prisoner you have, it seems that she is of the same stone as the Gith Yankee, but yet she is not. You see, both were once one people. At, at one time, even though time is a very difficult thing to measure depending on the plane, and that's not counting time in the astral plane or on... Forgive me, Aldenon, is this prisoner a threat or not? Oh, I don't know that. I do know that the Githzerai and the Gith Yankee have been in a state of war for millennia. It is common knowledge. Of course, an oversight on my part. So, I should think if your young lieutenant here, well met again by the way, you seem to be everywhere, is hunted by the Gith Yankee, then the Githzerai and this Githzerai prisoner would be allies by default. But I could be mistaken. I suppose we could see if she tries to kill any of us, but that test has numerous procedural flaws in its execution if you will pardon the semantics. She seemed reasonable enough when we spoke together in Crossroad Keep, but there was a foot of stone between us, which is notoriously hard for a blade to cut through to kill someone on the other side. And speaking of Crossroad Keep, I am rather anxious to return there, so if you would both excuse me, I will set out there at once to see if we can dig anything out of the library there. Good day, and I hope the prisoner doesn't attempt to kill you. She didn't seem the type, but you know how assassins are. Despite the advice of Master Aldenon, I think it would be best if you simply spoke to the prisoner and let this matter sort itself out, without further speculation. I felt your presence before my eyes fell upon you, Kalakcha. Step forward. Let me look upon you. All right, and yeah. Your name. Your name is not how I know you. Know this name our enemies have draped upon you. This Kalakcha. Its sound travels far, even reaching the ears of my people. At first, my people thought our enemies had erred, that they did not know that of which they speak. But here, now, 
As you stand in my presence, I see the truth. I did not think it possible, but the key by which you may know yourself lies within you. I know much of the problems that beset your people and mine. The reason behind these attacks upon your heart and home. You will have no greater ally in this than I. In exchange for my aid, it is my will I be freed, so that I might travel with you and aid you against these enemies. And this will make more sense later. This cell is abhorrent to me. It is a shackle of stone encasing me. It causes memories of the ways of the Illithids to surface in my mind. I have borne this indignity because I knew that it would bring you to me, and a greater truth will be known. All right, well, you're letting me hire you in exchange for your freedom, but we have no idea who you are. I heard you were here. You fought bravely, and we took them almost completely by surprise. You are to be commended, both for your efforts and the lives spared this day. Had you not been there, we would have many less brave men standing with us today, along with what may be the key to taking this battle to our enemies. In freeing me, no, you have gained more than you ever would have torn from the lips and thoughts of our enemies. Then speak. Aldenon does not think you are allied with these enemies, these Githyanki. And his word carries weight with me, fortunately for you. Then know the trade between us is this. Release me from this prison. Let my path become that of the Kalak Cha. In return, I will grant you the knowing of this threat and all the darkness its shadow casts. We promise an honest hearing, and if your tale rings true, we will grant your freedom. Then listen to me, and know this threat for what it is. But we cannot do it here, in this prison, where my words echo and the shadows fall thick around us. And why should we allow your freedom until we hear what you have to say? Because if you deny me that, then anything I can do to aid you will prove useless. I seek to know this plane, this world that I am to help you save, and to speak honestly to it, so that it might hear what strikes at its heart. And that means that I must see your lands, what you would spill blood for, and what you have spilled blood for. Then I know of just the place where you can see what we fight for. Make your way back to Crossroad Keep as soon as you are able. I shall meet you there. And uh, we're going to have to set up our party again later. But here's our new party member. Yes. Ziggy, as I call her. Uh, she's a cleric. She's not a particularly good cleric. But, uh, you know, she's a cleric. And that means a lot of spell scribing in the near future. At any rate, we're out of time for this episode. So next time, playing around with Ziggy for great justice. <laughs>